Hello, welcome to Told Us Love Tarot. If you're new here, I hope you like and subscribe. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you checking in and checking it out. This is going to be a collective reading, so um, I love would love to know how it resonates for you in the comments. As always, your comments, your likes, they go such a long way. They help my YouTube get out there and grow. Um, told us love is a little hustle for me so your support is appreciated your support by leaving those comments those likes sharing with a friend um, checking out the signs in your chart to find messages that could resonate for you just genuinely joining here at told us love um, it helps my YouTube grow in the meantime my cash app and Venmo are in the description box if you wanted to send a donation, um, it is greatly appreciated and um, I am very thankful for the support and um, feedback and recognition is coming to my mind that I've received from this channel. So I thank you. I hope you're happy, healthy, and well. I hope you're having a great Gemini season. Um, yeah we are almost into the Gemini cancer cusp which is your girl's thing um, I was just talking about my birthday today I was born June 20th so as always let me know in the comments what sign you are and how this resonates if you need some help finding your um, your birth chart to check out the other signs in your chart in my minutes with Meg collection there is a video with some help for that. I did have a small pre-message and um, some of it is I connect what's going on with me right before I do a reading or I'm getting ready for a reading and I had a really good analogy about love and I'm gonna take this as confirmation um, to share this analogy I was just saying this to a friend and he was like, my mind is blown thinking about this. So whoever or however this resonates, please let me know. But something in me was like, I should share this with the collective reading. Um, Cause I was about to do this and I had just been messaging with them. So we were talking about like love being an, okay. It's more like, um, like attachment we were discussing attachment issues and why some people fall into entanglement situationships they're not getting treated the way that they would want to be treated or should be treated but why do they stay and why do they get attached and I was saying to him sometimes um I was saying like it could be a closure thing like needing the story to be closed and ended and then you will no longer hold we were talking about holding um, soft spots in your heart for someone like why wouldn't it just die and I was saying well it could have to do with closure I said imagine a book if you're reading a book and you leave the book open you could still be done with the story and reading it but you've left it open which implies that the story will continue and that you are still engaged with this book but if you closed the book, indica indication that this story has closed. But if someone left the book open, I was saying to him, it's kind of like people need that closure of the book. And when it's left open ended like that, it's having to recognize that they have stopped reading. They've stopped engaging. They've stopped picking up the book. They just haven't closed the book. But the story is done. They are done reading this. And that is a message for somebody out there. So whew, let me know if that resonates. Because it resonates for me. Um, <laughs> I got the, the phrase, you made it. Like someone was saying, you made it. Now it's either an accomplishment or someone saying you made it you made that maybe it's food a creation um 
I also got an ending of something. You could be saying to someone or someone has said to you, you made it, you did it. I also got something about traveling. Like you finally visit some place or you get somewhere and they're like, you made it, you're here. It was something of a big accomplishment. I thought about someone is doing something or getting something that you or others or like just one person in particular, however this resonates, they feel like you deserve this and you should be doing this or getting this. I was getting a feeling of like, for some reason, motherhood was very much popping in my head. I was reminded of, I had in the um, spring or like last winter, quite a few collective readings where my unexpected pregnancy card came out and it popped into my head of like all those those people like maybe who had an unexpected pregnancy. I wonder if they're due around this time. So I started to think of like this, you made it or you, you're getting something or you're doing something that kind of puts you in this whole other level or whole other experience in life that you have not had before. Um, I really think I'm speaking to the person watching this and it's not who you're dealing with. So this could be that like you are a parent for the first time. This could be falling in love for the first time. This could be becoming a homeowner for the first time. Um, this could be a, a job opportunity, leveling up or doing something that um, I put job title. Like you are getting something or you're making it to this status that it's like you've made it. Um, I also get, uh, it could be something like people recognize or you recognize, however, whatever. It's something about love, like getting something you've always wanted. And I keep wanting to go back to motherhood. Like it could be like a business you've created, a love opportunity. It could be someone who had a difficult time getting pregnant and they're finally pregnant. Um, if I'm fidgeting, it's because I'm trying to stay comfortable in this chair. It's I'm bothering to my legs, so bear with me. I also got a settlement or an engagement. A case settles and it's like, you made it. You, you're getting what you deserve or an engagement. You made it. You're finally at the level of knowing what it's like to be in this established of a relationship and planning a wedding. I also got, it's uh, something like someone getting MVP. I kept thinking about that player. I don't know how to say his name. I'm not even going to try. I know it begins with a J. Jovic or... I'm butchering it because I didn't watch the those those finals. I watched the Celtics finals. But then I started thinking maybe it relates to something in Denver. Someone in Denver. But um, this is like those quotes or memes you hear that's like you love seeing someone getting what they deserve. Like you love seeing someone get the, the relationship they deserve after not being treated well. Uh, they love seeing you get the job title that you were worth after you weren't being valued at your job. Um, yeah, something like that. Love seeing someone who's manifested this, who prayed for this, who put in the work for this, get this. And I really get it's like others thinking that. I also want to say too, and this can't, it's, however resonates, it's like someone from your past who knows that you deserved better and is seeing you get better or do better and they're like they they deserve this like they maybe there's a part of them feel that feels bad for not giving you what you wanted but I think it was more of like a you weren't aligned with what you wanted and now they're seeing you get what you want and it's like they're happy for you because they know that this is what you want and this is what you deserve. I just saw a dream come true. And I just put those back on top. Your magical is at the bottom of the deck. Let's stop there. Please be patient with me. Oh, I don't even know how many cards are here. This could be more than six. Yeah, there is a bunch of cards here. 
could be talk you could be have a lot to say to someone or someone has a lot to say to you I've never had this many cards fall out like during a reading but and I'm really inclined to take them because it starts with dream come true and then you're magical right there behind your magical is you've given it too much time too many chances I've never been in love I don't realize how much you want me this is that past person this could be someone you you worked for this could be an ex this is someone who wasn't going to or couldn't give you what you were looking for, but they recognize how much you're worth. So if you are out there spreading your wings, it's like this is someone secretly rooting for you. Even if it broke your heart, even if they broke your heart, they recognize how special you are. For whatever reason, um, even though I've been, I did the Libra reading, Libra has been in my head. So if you're a Libra and you're watching this, um, please let me know. So the index we're going to say is starting at, we'll say 1110. All right. Dream come true. Your dream come true because you're different and this is part of your magic. Beautiful. Not thinking straight or right. Divine feminine energy, divine masculine energy, divine timing energy. I'm hearing divine like karmic energy. Give back, put it forward. So equal give and take, something about that is part of this dream come true. It's feeling like someone is like a diamond in the rough, like you haven't encountered this before, like you never thought you would ever find someone like this or an opportunity like this. Who exactly is the toxic one here? Do your actions match what you want from the universe or God? And I definitely just saw this one in Libra. That is so funny. That is so funny that I just said that. I definitely saw that in Libra. Fantasizing. You know what I'm going to do? Wow, there's so many cards here. This many doesn't. This must be something big for someone. Like a big event in your life. A big person. A big... This, it, you made it, a leveling up, getting like everything you wanted all at once or someone is viewing you this way. We don't mind the traffic here. That's why we have some background tunes on. Eternal Bachelor. You make my heart pound. Pray on it. I was just gonna say like someone is like the this is like the dream of a lifetime like a dream come true to someone something that they have prayed on something that they have fantasized about something that they knew at the right time this would come along I feel like it is here I feel like there are there is I'm just going to tell you, I really do think this is kind of love related. I get the feeling of there, there was someone who has been single, male or fem female, single for a while. Not because, uh, I think you've been single, but there's also like, it's been a healthy independence. And I feel like there's this, these two people who meet and um i would say by the emotional standards neither one of you are um unhealthy there just may be some unhealthy habits here <clears throat> um because who exactly is the toxic one here? Give back, put it forward. I just see some, like two people sharing like 
a cigarette or sharing a smoking device or sharing a drink, sharing what would be a toxin, sharing Someone is like, they can't even think. They, they, this is like, I feel, um, there's a physical reaction here, making like someone's heart pounding, seeing an individual. I'm getting someone may raise their eyebrows or wag their eyebrows. I get something almost like so special here that someone is thinking big like, oh my gosh, is this what I've prayed for? Like, is this my opportunity? Is this... This could be a baby. I keep, I'm thinking about that too. You make my heart pound. Cause someone's got a baby in there and their, their heart and chest is being pushed up and like. <gasps> interesting. This is really interesting to me. So eight cards came out. <clears throat> eight is Leo energy, but it's also strength. It's the card of strength. Wow. 17 for tarot. Six of um, pentacles reversed. Six of Swords Reverse, leaving behind anyone or anything that wasn't equally giving. Like cutting something or someone off. I'm getting like this could be... Summertime in the city. The fact that it's six and six, the first thing I thought of was lovers. Two people this could be Gemini, could be two Geminis. Um, oh, dang it! King of Cups reversed, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Yeah, um, I'm also getting it could have been an ending or walking away from like retracting your energy. Who this is what I was talking about with this love story as an open book. Whoever, um, whoever was stuck or was feeling stuck, if that book um, story resonated for you, like it was left open-ended. It was left, the story was put down, the love story was put down, but they didn't close the book. So what would that mean? What would that mean literally? The slow fade. Um changing consistent behavior can changing consistent action this person used to like your posts view your stories heart things or whatever now there's none of that um you may be blocked or have been blocked from some posts and i don't even know why this is coming to my head but I'm just going to put it out there because it popped into my head. Like, noticing someone's patterns of their posts have changed, their social media posts, or you're seeing less and less. So you wonder if you've been blocked from viewing those posts and you just um, haven't been unfriended or unfollowed. Like, this is a lot of freaking energy to make a point to someone. But this is like trying to make a point without making a point because they don't want to seem like they're putting in any effort or energy to this 
I don't like this energy. This is the person who put the book down because they want you stuck. I'm seeing a freaking bookmark. Look at her, stuck on that page. Holding on. Could be a, a Taurus, Capricorn, um, Virgo. This is Pisces. The fool is here. And I feel like with the Seven of Swords back here too, it's like someone put the book down and went and picked up another book, if you know what I mean. And I, I just keep, I'm having this vision of this person in like their personal library though and it's like they have a book stand in an area here and they read the book and then they put the book down and then they have an area over there and they have an open book there and it's all supposed to be symbolic of a person who has connections that they leave open-ended all the time all over this person could travel. I did say you made it, travel to somewhere. So they have the ability to kind of like have someone over here and have a connection over here and have a connection over there. Have these open-ended books. <clears throat> I think someone ends up acknowledging that they are like a bookmark. Like they are sitting on this open book and nothing's happening, the story isn't changing, and they want more for themselves, more from this connection, recognizing that they are not getting or giving equally, that's what the Six of Pentacles reversed, and then the Six of Swords upright, and I'm even focusing on like the red rope, and how like that's the bookmark, Someone cuts themselves free, starts to see a situation differently, and goes in a different direction. And I feel like the direction that they are going in is towards something new. Someone has caught their eye, or you have caught their eye. They've caught your eye. You left something behind. Um, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scor Scorpio, especially Pisces with this here. Um doesn't have to be I see someone with green eyes I could I see someone with brown eyes I'm also really thinking here there actually could be more than one option for you maybe you are you're the one with the open-ended books and you got one thing over here and one thing over there eight of Pentacles work Two of Wands is now at the bottom of the deck. I'm surprised I didn't just stay with the other cards. <laughs> I have so many cards in front of me. I just I just took that as like I have so many options in front of me that someone like gets like almost like freaked out and just goes to work. I also get a feeling here of planning something, someone planning an offer, planning to travel somewhere. Planning a um I just heard like a hike. Cuz those are hiking sticks. And she's like, here, here's your hiking stick. Someone could have cancer in their charts. I'm just heavily looking at the moon right there. Ooh, Knight of Wands on the fantasizing card and on the prey on it. I just got like, someone is praying for it. They want it. Knight of Swords. I think they're going to tell you. Nine of Swords. The Lovers. Gemini energy. All right. So I just started to read this as you may be telling someone that you've started a connection or someone could be telling you that they've. 
I just got someone recognize. There's a lot of Gemini energy right here in my hands. The Magician is Gemini Aries energy. Queen of Swords behind it. That's Gemini Libra Aquarius. Knight of Swords up here. Nine of Swords. And then the Gemini. That's all Gemini. This is all Gemini. So I don't know if it's literally something happening this season. Gemini season from like May 20th to June 20, 20th. Or if this is like... um. I get like talking to someone about a connection and it like upsets an individual. I'm getting like telling someone that you, you're you starting to see someone else. I'm also getting like putting two and two together that someone is no longer sleeping with me casually because they've started talking to someone else and have a connection elsewhere. <laughs> hate that shit it's so stupid oh Jesus I just got like this is very calculating like someone's move or transition like they were talking to someone and like you're gonna find out that they've been talking to this person or they're gonna find out talking to this person for a while and like you've moved on to something else I think someone just focuses on work But for some reason, I really, I really saw like him telling maybe his, maybe she's sent him a, hey, what are you doing text? And he's telling her like, oh, I've, I'm with someone. I've started to see someone. Or like maybe just even acknowledging that because you're not getting that like, what's up text. Um, that they must be connected with someone else. They could be figuring this out about you. Yes, that you've moved on. Because this wasn't fulfilling. You only got eight. These eight cards right here. This is what you're walking towards, okay? This is what you are walking towards because it's not what you were getting. And you always had the strong, strong feeling that your love was loyal and that there was more for you out there. So you cut yourself free and I'm being reminded of the Moody Tarot, how she'll say, sail away. <laughs> you decided to sail away from this connection that wasn't giving you what you wanted because you wanted more. It's taken time. This did not ha happen quickly. This was not like a one week fling and then you moved on. It's like this may have taken a while, weeks, months, years to be able to realize like this isn't for me and there's more out there for me because I'm sick of being anxious. I'm sick of worrying about this. I'm sick of waiting for by the phone. I'm sick of being let down by this person. I'm getting a bigger energy here too of someone. Um, this could be the leveling up in life that's part of it. It has to do with someone's sexuality and their approach to sexuality. <clears throat> Male or female, someone has been single for a while and their approach to um, sex may have been very casual. Um, they are not giving towards connections like that anymore. This person is walking towards love, something stable. It's like they ha they've never had something of a stable connection. Ace of Swords reversed. King of Swords reversed. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two of Cups reversed, Six of Pentacles reversed, and the Queen of Cups is here again. Queen of Swords reversed again. There is so much like double air energy in here. 
I don't know if it's like two air signs and I hate to get specific to two Gemini's but it doesn't have to be love related it could be friendship I'm just there's a lot of um, This is this mofo who put the book down. Who put the book down and left someone in this limbo of when am I going to get picked up again? When is the book, when, is, when am I going to hear from them again? When am I going to see them again? This is the person who does the slow fade, the ghosting, just stops communicating. Because they don't want to give to this connection. They don't want to give to it equally because it would require changing and they don't want to change Scorpio energy so you all just kind of slowly fade out talking having anything to do there's no communication about the end that because that would require an ending and closing the book hey this is what I want okay it's not gonna happen that would be the closing of the book but no, it's kept open-ended. It's kept, it keeps someone emotionally stuck. Emotionally stuck. When someone's out here trying to manifest a real connection and love, this is really giving me like you were left confused. You were left um, stuck with by someone who did not want to give equally to the connection and knew that that's where this was headed, knew that that's what you were looking for, I get that this person, it's in reverse because you, you have acknowledged you don't wanna feel this way anymore. I feel like they are sensing or just know that like it has ended because you have found a connection elsewhere that love is elsewhere now. This I'm hearing that TikTok and this should this really should exemplify to you how they felt about you because they really did view you as their bitch. Man or woman. The TikTok sound that was like all the the trend was like to put like oh when your boo thing stops looking at your story or when your girl doesn't respond to your text and like the sound over was damn I lost my bitch and I'm I just want to point out that like that's how this was viewed like damn I lost my sneaky link damn I lost one of my open books she decided to not let me just come and pick her up anymore male or female Three of Wands, this is giving me you were waiting, or this could be them, dude. They find themselves now waiting, like, where's the person who I was just breadcrumbing? Where'd they go? Damn, I lost my bitch. Wheel of Fortune. King of Wands reversed. Two of Wands reversed. Four of Pentacles. Three of Swords, this is totally, totally giving me the end of a predominantly sexually based relationship. And maybe this is part of the leveling up and like, you've made it, you've decided to give up on these F boys, F girls, that for, for the streets lifestyle because someone turns their back on it, they want more, they want a, a connection, they want a relationship and or They've met someone that they can see themselves in a relationship with. So homegirl has turned her back on the guy who was, or woman who was just like dicking her around. That's all I can say. And I feel like that person recognizes. It's like an energetic thing. They've like recognizes. Ace of Wands, King of Pentacles. Strength is here now. Leo energy, the Hermit reverse. Someone has taken a new love offer. I was just about to say taken a new lover um, and is going, It this is going to be a good, strong connection. 
Leo and Virgo energy. Leo goes into Virgo. It could be a Leo, Leo Virgo cusp, but I'm really getting a feeling of like satisfaction here of happiness. With the Hermit Reverse, I just thought like not single anymore. And then with that Six of Wands, the card of victory, someone's going to be really happy with this. And it's going to be a strong, loyal connection because I've already said a lot about like the loyalty and love that someone knew that they had with these eight of cup, these eight cards here. I feel like someone's this this new connection is much more stable, much more um I want to say serious um and it's not starting off as sexually based. It's like you guys are sexually attracted to each other, but you're not knocking boots. It's like you're waiting for that cuz you know it will come, you know it will be good. I don't even know why I'm even saying that. I'm just I get the feeling homeboy who didn't want to read the book because he i'm gonna take that confirmation that honking they're a grown-ass male or female whose communication skills are that of, of a f boy f girl okay they have this in them but they're out here talking and acting like hey yo what are you doing this could be someone who's like, you, you should, you'd think they're not, you shouldn't be acting like this. Shouldn't be acting like this. I feel like this is, um, they're going to try to come in and stop. They're going to try to sh like, try to get you back again. Um, they recognize that you're like not giving to them anymore. And this is so funny because this is someone who's had the whole freaking library opened, all the freaking books in the library, all these connections that they've left open-ended, but like they can sense, like their spidey senses can sense. My, oh, I'm losing my bitch. Oh shit, where's my bitch? The world reversed. They didn't wanna leave, they, this is so effed up. It was like, they want it over they wanted it to end, but they wanted you to still be attached or still try. And the fact that you're not, and they're recognizing, like, they must be giving to someone else. There must be a new love offer, a new friendship, a new person, a new lover. They've taken a new lover. Why do I get the feeling of like, this is someone getting a dose of their own medicine? Like you are giving them a dose of, maybe they've hurt you in the past, May, but this is like humbling someone for some reason. Like someone who, this king of swords, who normally feels so big and mighty, is feeling very humbled because he or she is not being chased not being like, oh, let's make it right. Let's make it work. Nine of wands reverse. Nope, we're not making this work. I'm not staying in this situationship that's just sexually based. I want healthy happiness. I want an equal give and take Sagittarius energy. King of wands reversed. I don't know why I keep thinking this. All right, now I know why. All right. I'm going to go back to my story analogy. This this king of swords, this person who is... It's like they say one thing, but their actions don't align with what they're saying. It's because they are keeping you stuck, hanging there, a bookmark in your connection as they breadcrumb and have other connections that they have. This person is male or female, has multiple options. I don't wanna go out there and say that they are sleeping with all these people, but they have a little black book. And this is someone, King of Wands reversed with this Seven of Cups. They have no problem This is someone who has like sexual trophies. 
like they consider it an achievement and it like feeds their ego to see like these wicked hot people that they banged and are banging that they like keep open ended and keep these stories and connections going. They have all these connections going, okay? But look at what he's holding on to one. He's holding on to this ending, recognizing that his person has gone off in another direction. He or she has gone in another direction. And why they're having a hard time with this is because there was like sexual healing that was going on with this connection. The sexual based entanglement Aquarius energy is here. This is giving me like you could have been pouring and healing into someone with a broken heart and like helping heal them in ways that you didn't even know or however this resonates. But I do get the feeling like someone may have recognized like their story that was being read and left open was a very healing self-help loving book to this person. This is part of why they do not want it to close. They don't want to let go of this. They're very sexually attracted. They're the like the sex is so good. Someone's like body. It's just so good for this connection and this person. It makes them feel like the woman that they are together with this person, or it makes them feel like the man that they have this person as one of their trophies. But that's what it comes down to. And someone does not want to be a trophy. They want to be the trophy i'm the be all end all i'm not one of those others and this has this person like kind of i want to say a little shook a little like what do you mean you're ending our connection when i haven't given you what you wanted and you didn't know what was going on and you were totally confused and now you're on a path with someone where you absolutely know which direction it's headed how dare you this could be work how dare you leave the company that has not been good to you and you're out here taking another offer from another company even though we've treated you like you were a child and blah 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 blah, blah like that could be the that could be the love offer or work offer because someone was not being treated what they were worth and they knew it so they are going where they are wanted and they are starting something where they feel um appreciated and valued and where they know it's just those two and not one of many connections it's just me and my cup and you and your cup with the lovers reversed right there beautiful reading please let me know if it resonates um you know as i was just i kid you not putting this queen of pentacles who i was saying someone knows their worth and they haven't been getting treated their worth as i was grabbing it from over here or the two of cups whatever to put them back in here i flipped by accident i might have caught it on the camera the king of swords reversed and he's been the figure in this whole reading that I've been saying is the person who is leaving not just you, but other people like in the lurch is coming to my mind, like in the it, leaving things in the gray, because if it's in the gray, then they can still control the situation. If they don't get to the end of the story or it tell you how the story is going to end, then they can still control who's in their library of trophies. I hope this resonates for somebody. I hope it makes sense. The figurativeness of this being flipped over in front of me is like you are or need to put a, a, a complete blah, 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 ending to this energy, this type of behavior, these type of people, but I'm heavily getting it's one specific person. Because once this is gone, if it hasn't already, I have a funny feeling it may already be gone. Once this energy or person is already gone, once you've made themselves no longer a trophy in their library, you best believe like this person notices the energetic loss. They notice like they're no longer getting the attention. They know 
I'm hearing J. Cole, she knows. She knows. And I know she knows. And I know she knows. They know that you know that they were out here giving options to many trophies. And they know that you have started a connection with someone else and that they are being left in the past because she knows, she knows. And I know she knows. It's like, you know they're a player. You know they have other options. You know you're being left an, an, an open-ended book on purpose. <whistles> Collective. If this resonates, you know what to do. Let me know in the comments. My Cash App and Venmo are in the description box if you want to send your girl a gift. Thank you so much for checking this out. I wish you well. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. Always love on yourself and know that there's no one better than you.